Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking this time out to listen. The title of this message is, They Said They Would Never. They Said They Would Never. For some of you all, you said years ago that you would never, and then you can fill in the blank. What was it that you said you would never do? And now, when you sit back and you look at your life, you look at the decisions that you made, you ended up doing the very things that you said you would never do. Well, there is something to that old adage, never say never. Never say never. God has a way of humbling us when we make blanket statements about what we're not going to do and we would never do this and we would never do that. That's pride that shows up, saints as well as sinners. That's pride that shows up that says, "Mm mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes, yes, you would never do that uh -uh, because you're not like those people. Oh, no. In the scriptures, we see men and women who compared themselves, who thought they were better. And then what ended up happening? (laughs) They didn't get the blessings. They didn't see the kingdom of God. They ended up missing out on the promised land. They thought that their decisions were the best and they thought they were better than others. They lost control. They fell by the wayside. Some of them, the Lord allowed their minds to go mad. Oh, yes, there's a lot of examples of how people who said that they are better and good and righteous and true and all of this other stuff ended up being humble quite quickly. Never say never, huh? Well, I never stole and I never told a lie. And then a mother or father who remembers when comes along and says, oh, but you did. No, I didn't. Oh, yes, you did. It's funny how people get amnesia, amnesia about their childhood, amnesia about their tweens, huh? amnesia about their teens. Amnesia about young adulthood. I'm always right. I never did anything wrong. And the Lord says, oh, Oh, but you have and will use people, places and things. And then when the proof comes out, you know what people like to do, right? They make excuses. They try to hide some things. They try to cover up. Oh, don't nobody want to hear all that. You know, you were in the wrong. So stop being delusional. Stop denying. Stop talking about you never did something when you know full well that you have messed up. That's why we need Jesus. We all have messed up. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. Never say never. I remember when I (laughs) thought I was so, so prideful and so, or I should say not thinking I was prideful because I didn't associate myself with that. Instead, I thought that's, well, I knew some things, right? Some of you all, you don't know what I'm talking about, right? Because you've never been to that place where you thought you knew some things about life, especially in your uh, late teens, early 20s, right? So I sat back and I was thinking about these women who, wow, they went through some struggles. They had been abused. And then if I didn't meet a man who would abuse me, What was the likelihood of me meeting a man that would abuse me? Well, it turns out that statistically, most women in their lifetime have come across someone abusive between the ages of 18 and 24. So there's this segment that those who are who have much time on their hands have uh, pinpointed that are more likely to get involved with abusive men. Okay. Some folks go around 
in this world talking about what they will never do, who they will never meet, who they will never connect with, only to attract those sorts of people. I thought I would never meet anyone like my dad or like my mother. And then lo and behold, if this person isn't like my mother or like my father. I thought that I would never be broke, busted and disgusted. And now I am, says the spoiled daughter. I thought that I would always be on top and now I'm on the bottom and I don't know anyone who will be able to help me, says the rich young boy. Mm -hmm. And there's plenty, there's plenty of people who have yet to grow up. Their minds are still very much childlike while their bodies are definitely way past young adulthood. And yet they say they will never live on this planet long enough. And you're going to do a lot of stuff that you thought you would never do. You will experience a lot of things that you thought you would never experience. Be humble and watch saying what you will never encounter. Some people are so determined, so focused, believing that everything Everything is going to always remain the same. But as we know, life throws us a curveball. And when life throws us a curveball, you better be prepared to catch it. And if you don't catch that curveball, then guess what you're doing? You're scrambling for it. And if you're scrambling for it, you just might fall. And if you just might fall, those Enemies, if you will, are going to run the bases and then they're going to make it to home plate while you're laying out there crying. Because you never saw that curveball coming. Who's going to help you see that curveball? Life's curveball. God is. God is. He's going to help you see if you are willing and you are able to serve him. He's going to show you the enemy and how the enemy will use pride, pride to show up before you take a major fall. I will never be broke. I will never have kids. I will never be married. I will never meet anyone abusive. I will never be on drugs. I will never, I will never, I will never. And all of these people who have declared these sorts of things, at least one of what I mentioned out of a very, very long list, they have been exposed to, even though they said never. Watch, watch talking about what you will never do. There's an enemy that's listening and he has every intention of sending you the most delightful, the sweetest, the nicest, something that's harmless your way. And then he's going to use that to trap you. And there's some folks saying, well, I will never have that happen. And just because you said that, I guarantee you, you will be tested in the near future and you will fail. Just because, just because you have not allowed yourself to take on a humble stance and you choose to remain prideful. I've been on the planet long enough to see enough people fall, fall from grace. Mothers and fathers, idolizing children, adoring partners, talking about how much money they got, where they've been, who they know. And God knows their weakness. We may not see their weakness, but God knows their weakness. And these people have been brought down low, whether financially, emotionally, 
physically or spiritually, something goes amiss with these prideful folks. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning into this message. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Feel free to check the description box for anything that might be of interest. Also, we do welcome donations and subscribers. So do that today, won't you? To God, once again, be the glory.